right now I am going to show you a Jones Tones technique where we're going to put some Jones Tones copper onto this purple clay and crackle it to make a really cool effect. So what I have is this is Jones Tones paper which comes on a mylar backing. Basically it's a foil coating and the plastic that it's on is clear. I don't know if you can see some of it is off the paper there. And the trick to Jones Tones is getting it off the plastic backing and onto the clay. So what you need to do is you need to put the silver side down over the clay and get it stuck by rubbing. And then you need to really get it stuck with heat and friction. And the way we're going to do that is with a credit card or my driver's license and you're just going to rub really fast making contact with the whole thing fast and um, not too hard but hard enough that you're making contact and that you're generating a little bit of heat and you do this for I don't know about 30 seconds and then we're gonna quickly rip the Jones tones off of the clay leaving the color on the clay theoretically Sometimes it doesn't work on the first try, so we'll give it a shot. Okay. So you rip it like a band-aid real fast. Yes. So here we have, what happened here is wherever there was a little air bubble between this plastic and the clay, it didn't go all the way onto the clay, which is okay. It's fine. You can work on your technique if you're concerned about that, but since I'm going to be throwing this in my pasta machine and crackling it anyway, I don't really care. Now if some of you have seen um, crackle like a gold leaf crackle, this looks different when you do it with Jones Tones because the Jones Tones is more plasticky or something, so it doesn't come out the same. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So my pasta machine, this piece was rolled to the widest setting on the pasta machine and now we're going to roll it progressively thinner. And each time it goes through the machine it's going to crackle a little bit more. So that's the first pass and it's got a very fine crackle beginning if you can see very very fine crackle so now I'm going to go one more and again it's a fine crackle and one more and see what's happening it's almost like a um, alligator skin or something but it's very fine it's it's really cool looking actually it's almost like water droplets or a lizard skin, like scales. It's really cool. It's not like the big chunky crackle that you get with other, like with a regular gold leaf paper. So because this is now at a number four on the pasta machine, it's pretty thin. So I'm going to keep it that way. And I'll, what I'll do is use my blade to cut slices of it. And then you can use these pieces in other projects. So you can cut it up and bend it around. This is one of the things I like to do with it, is get it bending. Like that, like stick it on another piece of clay and bend it and cut it up. It's a really fun technique, so we hope that you enjoy it.